You're watching Texas Gun Blog, and today we are looking at one of the most uh, commonly purchased pistols. That is the Glock Generation 3 G23 and 40 Smith & Wesson. A uh, little bit about the G23. This is a 40 Smith & Wesson version of the G19. Um, dimensionally identical to the Glock 19, but it's a slightly heavier uh, and it uses a modified slide and frame. It's got a 40 Smith & Wesson barrel and a standard magazine capacity of 13 rounds. The factory 15 round magazine from the larger Glock 22 will function in the 23 as well as the uh, I think they're 22 round or 20, 23 round extended magazines. One thing to note is that these generation 3 magazines will not function or uh, will not lock into a gen 4 Glock 23 that has had the magazine release switched over to the left side because these G23 mags don't have the little uh, the notch in it uh, for that mag release so that's one thing to look out for if you've got a, a gen 4 and you're looking for for mags uh, and you're a lefty and you've you've moved that around but overall uh, the Glock 23 is probably going to be on the top of most shooters list to recommend to someone who is looking to get into a firearm uh, and looking to get into a 40 uh, usually the Glock 23 and the Glock 19 are, are uh, on everyone's list and it comes down to uh, they're very lightweight extremely simple to operate there's not a lot of controls on it it's just got a mag release a slide release and a trigger more or less um, they're very easy to take down uh, one thing to note on the Glock as opposed to say the Smith & Wesson M&P is that you do have to pull the trigger uh, to get this thing disassembled or field stripped to clean it uh, but as long as you're double triple and quadruple check in your chamber you should be good to go um, but this is a very good sized handgun for concealed carry teaching the concealed carry class I uh, get asked a lot should I get a Glock 23 or a Glock 19 um, really it's just gonna come down to personal preference you can find statistics all over the internet um, about why you should get a particular caliber but at the end of the day uh, having the, the gun at the right time is really more important than what is chambered in and shot placement of course so if you have questions for us about this particular Glock you can find us at texasgunblog.com as always we do appreciate you watching our videos we hope to continue to make more in the future and uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube thank you